Flox here. Everybody's information is out there for the taking. There's all these directory websites. If you have somebody's first and last government name and or their phone number or even just an address, you can find so much more information about them just by using these quick directories. There's a site called fastpeoplesearch.com. It's just one of the many directories out there that operate sort of like the Yellow Pages used to do back in the day where they had a phone number and an address of everybody in a city or town. Right now we have these directories where you can just go up there, find anybody's home address, find anybody's phone number, find past addresses, past phone numbers, and find out living relatives of them. It's crazy. I'm going to show you just real quick how easy it is for somebody to find you on a site such as fastpeoplesearch.com. Now I'm going to look up for myself, um, or maybe not myself. Oh, we got thunder here. I'm not going to look for myself. But let's let's do a celebrity. Can I do a celebrity? No, I don't want to dox any celebrities. Um, I'm just gonna type some random person. Hopefully he don't watch this video. Actually, let me do John Doe. So basically, this is so easy. You type a name and then you type a city. Let's go with uh, New York. I mean, how many John Does can there be in New York? I don't know. I don't know this person. Um, I'm going to still block out the name just for safety purposes, but we got a John Doe in New York, um, 70. We have addresses. We have addresses, phone numbers, relatives. Like this, this is, inf this information is just so easy to, to get for anybody. You can search yourself. I what I would do is go to fastpeoplesearch.com, put your information, put your first name, put the city you live in. You could even put a phone number, just a phone number, or you could even put in an address and you can get past people that lived in that address before you or after you or whatever the case have you. This is how easy it is for anybody who is targeting somebody to get your information. The crazy thing about a lot of these sites is you don't need an account. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to tell them who you are, type the person you're looking for, and you get all this free information. You don't even have to pay for a lot of these sites. There are paid ones, which I'm sure they offer more information, um, but for this, it's just free so anybody can find anybody but you don't have to be helpless there is a way you can have some type of control you can remove certain personal information from the internet if you choose to i found this company it's called delete me and i've used them for the past few months and they're what they're doing is they're going through all my uh personal records and going through all these directories and i'm requesting to be removed from them so they're taking off my name my phone number my uh my email addresses my home addresses. They're taking all that information offline. It doesn't make it foolproof, right? It is, so it doesn't make you unfindable, so to speak, but it does make it so much harder than these free services that are out there that anybody from online can just go up and search you. The link is in the description. Go there now, sign up, start to remove your personal information online. And this is great for content creators such as myself, because again, once you start building up a following and you're putting yourself out there, and especially if you put your government name out there, anybody can search you at any time for free and get your phone number, get your address, get your email address. They can get so much information. Use this service. The link is in the description. Delete Me is a great company. Um, I, have, I got my first report for them a couple of weeks ago. They told me all the sites that they requested my information to be removed from. And it's a process for it to start. Some of them already removed my information. Others, they have to process the request. Um, but again, if, especially for you content creators, you're out there, you're putting your government out there. You don't want to be doxxed. You don't want to be swatted, you know, you know, which is a crazy, crazy thing. They're doing the streamers for some reason. Go here. Go to Delete Me. Click the link in the description. Sign up. Remove your personal identifiable information from online while you still have time there's going to be more content coming on the cyber Bunny channel please like share subscribe uh, tell me things you'd like to see what type of content you'd like to to <clears throat> to learn about what type of content you'd like me to make videos on i'm going to get back on this channel um cyber bunny is back i appreciate you guys protect yourself go now <laughs>